Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First, I want to apologize that I was not very active recently, at least in posting videos, but I come back with a, a very exciting video on how to install VCBox 12 in DigitalOcean. Of course, if you followed my channel, you know that uh, I usually provide an image that can be installed in the DigitalOcean, but it has some problems. Not problems, it took a lot of, a lot of time, uh, and also it was not a fast process and sometimes it failed but I find another way uh, with updated VCBox 12 image that can be easily installed in DigitalOcean it's very easy I will show you first and then we will go to the installation steps so what we need to do uh, just in the DigitalOcean account if you don't have one I provide the link in the video it's a referral link and I can use the credit for testing and um, creating this video so I appreciate if you if you don't have an account and if you want to create an account use that link what we need to do is very easy so first of all I want to show you in the digital ocean when you log in in the manage in the backup and snapshots in the custom image you are able to um, upload a custom image of VC box as you can see I have VC box 11 here that I uploaded one year ago but uh, when you want to upload, you have two options, import via URL or uh, you can upload the ISO file. Both of methods have some sort of problem. I mean, when you want to upload image, it takes time and it will time out and it won't work. And when you up upload from a URL, it's for a lot of time, it fails. So I find another way and then I programmed an application, a web application that you can do it easily. What we need to do is uh, just go to the API, create, generate a new token, give it, for example, upload token, give it a name, upload token, and we, we will uh, actually revoke this token after we upload, so you can remove it, but anyway, you can give it full access, or what we need, we just need to upload an image, so just give the image access upload that we can upload or delete or edit the image and we can generate the token it will give us a token and you can come to my url it is in the video link don't follow what you see above because it won't work just click on the uh, link in the description just put the api key before i click upload image look at the digital ocean I go back again to the backup and snapshots. You can see in the custom image, I just have VCBox 11. So if I open the API token here and upload image, it will take a little time and you can see image upload successful. This is the ID, this is the name, it's custom and it just shows you some information. But now if you come here and if you refresh, In the custom image, you can see that you have a VCBox 12 Feb 2025 because uh, I just created the image today and it's now it's Feb 2025. I will update it. This is the latest image and updated with everything. So uh, that's it. You just need to create an API token, put it into the URL and it will automatically uh, create the image and upload the image into your digital ocean. Uh, of course, we will go on how to install it first of all the status is pending but it takes some time you need to wait about i think maybe 10 15 minutes and uh, it should after that it you can if you click on the more you can create a droplet based on this vc box image so let's see how long does it take i'm back it took about 10 minutes for me to upload um, based on how many requests to my server it may take longer so be patient but around 10 to 30 minutes it should be uploaded and the important thing is that definitely it will be successful i uploaded more than 10 times and all 10 times it was 100 percent success rate so it will work and uh, what we can do right now i mean what's the next step is to install the vc box i have a lot of videos on how to configure it but because this is a new image i just tell you what are the next steps till you install the vc box and you can access to the web panel what you need to do click on the more and then start a droplet uh, 
I upload this image into Frankfurt and it's already selected. Select your custom, I mean for VCDL, you need at least I think four gigabyte or it won't really work for you. So that's the minimum that I recommend to run it. But if you want to try it, you can run it with lower specs, but it didn't work me for seven uh, USD for one gig to, for one gig or one CPU because it really uh, needs more resources to run the database. I select my SSH keys, of course it won't work. It doesn't matter, and then give it a name. Now let's name it VCBox12, and I want to create the droplet. So it should take some time. At the same time, I want to I just need to wait. I think it will take two, three minutes, not more. Okay, done. I have the IP address. Of course, I can't connect to the IP address right now because this is a custom image. What I need to do, I need to create on the VC box. I need to open the console. And you can see the VC box is loading. So we need to wait till it's uh, fully a startup and give us the login. It will take some time because it wants to bring up the network, but of course uh, this is a custom image and the network settings, that's the first thing that we need to do after we log into the VC box. Uh, so it will fail in this stage. It's totally fine. You just need to wait. And you need to log in with the username root and the password is VCBOX12, V-I-C-I-B-O-X-12, one, two, VCBOX12. Uh, the first step after we, before we install the VCBOX, because this is the operating system, uh, we need to give it an IP address. In order to do that, you need to run YAST, LAN, Y-A-S-T space LAN, And you can see we have ETH Ethernet card 0, Ethernet card 1, and ETH 0, that is 10, 10, 10, 150. That's the IP address that when I wanted to create the image, I give it to update and uh, install the packages. So what we need to do first, we need to remove ETH 0. So with the tab, come to the ETH 0, again, click tab, till you are in the delete and enter. So we delete ETH 0. We have Ethernet card 0 and Ethernet card 1. Ethernet card, uh, and in front you can see it is ETH 2 and ETH 1. We don't need Ethernet card 1 because that's the internal IP address and for this VC box we don't use that really. So we don't need to configure it. The only thing that we need to configure is Ethernet card 0 that the device is ETH 2. Exactly as I see, you will see like exactly the same. What we need to do, we just need to edit because it's already selected, and set it to dynamic address because this solution already is in DHCP mode and it knows what uh, what is the IP address of this container, this VM in DigitalOcean. So we don't need to set a static, just select dynamic address and tap tab up to next. Yes, we are sure what, and we know what we do and okay. Um, so, we just configure one of the network ports. There is no problem if you don't configure both of them. We don't need that. And it will make our life easier during the installation. Okay. Now, in order to ensure the IP address is set, we can ping. Maybe Google. Yeah, it's successful. And we have the IP address. If you run if config, we can see we have the ETH2, and this is the public IP address of my VM that is matched to what I see here in my digital ocean. Next step is to set the time zone. This is very important. VC box dash time zone. 
and set your time zone. It's by default set to Europe, Germany. That's where I am. And the next command is vcbox dash express. I'm running this very fast because I have a lot of videos and there are a lot in the YouTube on how to install vcbox. So we enter the IP address, the local IP address is 46.101.99.209. Where I, how do I know that? This is exactly the IP address of my uh, droplet that I created in the vcbox, the public IP address. We don't need the 10.135 because that's private and we don't really need it. We said local IP address and do you want to install? Of course, that's why we are here. And it will automatically do its magic and it will install the VC box. Seeding the audio store, we just need to wait till it's automatically download the audio and install whatever is needed. It usually in a, get the latest code from the uh, source and install it. Okay, that's it. It's installed. What we need to do is rebooting right now. Now it is VCBox 12. We need to wait till it boot up uh, and give us the root screen so that we are sure that the VM is up. This time the network, as you can see, it won't take that long and it will pass because we already set the network. Yes, it passed. And of course we don't need to log in here anymore. We don't need it. So what we need to do, we copy the IP address and paste it in our browser, continue, and the VC box is ready. You know that the default username is 666 and default password is 1234. From here onward, then follow my other videos. Don't forget, I have a video on how to secure your uh, VC box after installation because if you don't do it, you will bankrupt yourself. And the first thing that you need to change the root password, uh, change this default password, uh, run whitelist or a dynamic firewall and make it secure before you do any other thing. So. That's it. I hope this video is useful and I think this uploading will help a lot of uh, team members and uh, viewers on uploading the digital ocean image. Thank you. If you have any question, yeah, throw it to me. I have some other questions from other Patreon users on, for example, how to uh, install uh, um, a trunk to the VC box, especially to you for the inbound calls. I have all of them. I try to create more videos in uh, next weeks and upload them based on your questions. So if you have any questions, please put in the comments or uh, PM me in the Patreon. Thank you and see you in the next video.